Hey, Dorothy with Crazy for Crafts. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make four recipes that you can use for a fabulous brunch using a can of Pillsbury Grand Cinnamon Rolls. Now, this is not sponsored. I just absolutely love these rolls. I've been using them for my whole life and I love to take them and turn them into something else. It's one of my best skills, I think. And today I'm gonna to show you four ways to use these. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. First thing we're gonna do is make easy monkey bread. Uh, you've probably seen something like this before. Um, I've been making this for uh, probably 12 years. Ever since my daughter was little, we made monkey bread for the first time on Christmas morning. And that was like her favorite thing. And every year since, she just expects it. It's like tradition. To start with two cans of Grand Cinnamon Rolls. Go ahead and open your rolls. Um, reserve the icing, we're gonna use that later. And then slice each roll into four pieces. All right, now to a large gallon size Ziploc bag, you're gonna add sugar and cinnamon. Kinda shake that up a little bit so that you can mix it. And then add all of your cut cinnamon rolls into the bag. Seal it up, press out some air, and then you're gonna shake it. This is really fun for the kids to do. Uh, make sure to break up any big chunks of cinnamon roll that have um, stuck together so that every little piece of those cinnamon rolls is coated with that cinnamon sugar. And now we're gonna make this in a bunt pan. Now you can make it in a nine by 13 pan if you want, um, but today we're gonna do the traditional method which is made in a bunt pan. So go ahead and spray that with nonstick cooking spray. And then you're gonna place your pieces of your cinnamon rolls evenly around the bottom of the bunt pan. All right, now we're gonna melt some butter and you're gonna stir in brown sugar to that. Um, you're gonna stir it really well. You wanna get it as mixed as you can. The sugar will kind of melt and it'll become like a thick mixture. And then you're gonna just pour that over the rolls in the pan. All right, I have my oven preheated. You're gonna bake this. It's probably gonna take about 40 to 50 minutes. Um, you might wanna bake it on a cookie sheet just in case it bubbles up and over a little bit. You don't want that mess on your uh, oven floor. And once it gets nice and crisp looking on the top, you'll be able to see if you jiggle it a little bit, it'll be mostly done all the way through. Go ahead and take that out and let it sit for five minutes. Now, it's really, really important that after about five minutes, you invert the pan of monkey bread onto your serving platter. Once it cools, it's not gonna wanna come out of that bunt pan. So go ahead and invert it while it's still warm. And now, this is where that cinnamon roll icing comes in. Drizzle that all over the monkey bread. That's how easy it is to make monkey bread. You guys, I love it from scratch, but the semi-homemade hack, so easy, it's delicious. I love that extra little bit of cinnamon in there from using the cinnamon rolls instead of just biscuits. Uh, this is a family favorite, I make it every year. How delicious, see how amazing it is? We love this recipe. And that's just one of the four. Recipe number two is cinnamon roll cobbler. Now, this is basically the easiest cobbler, uh, cobbler. <laughs> This is the easiest cobbler you'll ever make, if I could say cobbler, cobbler. All right, this is the easiest cobbler you'll ever make. Um, you can use this for breakfast or brunch. This is also a great dessert because it is a fruit cobbler. This recipe is so simple. It only has two main ingredients, pie filling and the grand cinnamon rolls. That's it, it's so simple. And you can use any kind of pie filling you want. Apple, cherry, blueberry, strawberry, lemon, Whatever you like, that's what you should grab at the grocery store. You need two cans, mix and match, or use two of the same, whatever you like. All right, to make this, just take a large pie plate. All right, go ahead and just dump the pie filling into the pie plate, and then top it with the cinnamon rolls. That's it. It's like barely even a recipe. Bake it off. Once it's baked, go ahead and drizzle that icing all over the top, and you have the best cobbler you'll ever make. Cobbler with cinnamon rolls on top. Doesn't get much better than that. Another recipe I love to make using cinnamon rolls is pull apart bread. So this is recipe number three. Cinnamon roll pull apart bread. Um, and it's got chocolate sandwiched in the middle. Uh, this is another two ingredient recipe. It comes together in under 10 minutes, and then just bakes up easy. This is seriously the most decadent quick bread you will ever make. To make this recipe again, you just need two ingredients, cinnamon rolls and Nutella. Go ahead and slice the cinnamon rolls into thirds. 
Um, you're going to, so you'll start with five cinnamon rolls, you'll end up with 15 slices. So go ahead and just sandwich the slices of cinnamon roll with Nutella. Spread a little bit of Nutella on, pop on another slice of the cinnamon roll, stack them up. And then you're gonna take an eight by four loaf pan, which is a smaller loaf pan, and spray it with nonstick cooking spray. Go ahead and add the um, stack of cinnamon roll slices to the pan. That's all you're gonna do. You're just gonna bake it until it's nice and golden, and if you kind of look, look in the center, it won't be raw anymore. Um, and then that's it. Pour the cinnamon roll icing over the top, and you have one of the best pull-apart breads you will ever make. The last recipe I'm gonna show you how to make with the Pillsbury Grands is a blueberry cinnamon roll bake. And this is such an easy, delicious recipe. It's for, great for all year. Um, we like doing this at Easter. This would be great for Christmas or for brunch anytime. It's easy to do. It's full of blueberries. So it's like a blueberry bl buckle, but better because it's cinnamon rolls. Um, you guys, you aren't gonna believe how easy this is to make. Separate the rolls and cut them into six pieces each. So in small pieces. It's gonna kind of fall apart. That's totally fine. You're gonna take a nine by nine pan or a nine or 10 inch round. Um, you can use a pie plate or um, a cake pan if you want. Go ahead and spray that with nonstick cooking spray and simply spread the pieces of the sliced cinnamon roll um, all around the bottom of the pan. And then you're gonna take blueberries. Now you can use fresh blueberries if you want or you can use frozen, but just make sure that you've thawed them and drain them well. And just spread about a cup, a cup and a half of blueberries um, all over that pie plate, all over the chopped pieces of cinnamon roll. Now the topping is like a monkey bread topping. It's melted butter and brown sugar. Go ahead and stir that together until it's nice and thick, and then simply pour it over the cinnamon roll chunks in the pan. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Pop that in the oven and bake it up until it's nice and golden and it's cooked all the way through. Once you drizzle that icing over the top, this, it's such an easy breakfast recipe. This is like a wowza recipe, one of those ones your family and friends are gonna think that you slaved over, and all it did was take you 10 minutes to put it together. And that's it. Four recipes made with Pillsbury Grands. I mean, each of these are in the oven in under 10 minutes. Do me a favor and leave me a comment. Let me know which of these recipes you're gonna make first. All right, I'm gonna go try and avoid eating all of these while I clean up the kitchen, um, and you watch the next video. Thank you.